Hey y'all, it's Andy and I'm back with another Baron idea. And today's idea is what can a balanced diet teach us about the media that we consume when we're learning how to play this instrument? You know, any balanced diet is made up of the things that are good for us, but may not necessarily be exciting to consume versus the things that are exciting to consume that may not necessarily be good for us. And any balanced diet is a proportion between these two because it gives us what we need, but again, also adds some of that, that excitement and enjoyment to the foods that we eat. Well, you take that idea and, and apply it to the media that we consume either on iTunes or YouTube or what have you. The idea is that if we're watching just band playing or session playing, we're missing some of the cool things that happen during drum solos. However, I want you to make the, make the distinction that I'm not saying that drum solos are garbage or that band playing or session playing is the be all end all of things that are good for us. I'm just saying it has to be a proportion because if we're watching nothing but drum solos on YouTube, we might be inadvertently picking up things that are not appropriate when accompanying melody players. And if we're only watching you know, session playing or band playing, we're, we as drummers are missing some of the cool things that our instrument is capable of doing. So when you go into YouTube or to iTunes, is make sure that when you watch either drum solos or session and, and band playing or melody accompaniment, that you, it's a balance between the two because both are important on your development on the instrument. So I would also challenge you to do this, is go make a list of your favorite two to three drummers and then go watch those drummers play solos and then go watch those drummers play with their own bands or accompanying other melody players. And you'll often find that, that what they do in either situation or context is completely different. The solo is meant to show off what they can do and push the limits of the drum, whereas what they do with their band or accompanying melody players is just to support and serve the music. And again, as a drummer, it's important to know how to do both, but more importantly, when to do either one. But again, it's just an idea. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts in the comments below. And also, too, in the description below is a link to donate to the American Red Cross because, you know, some folks are in a little bit of need at this time right now, and any bucks thrown their way would definitely help. So, guys, thank you very much. Uh, take care, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next video.